Okay. We're back in we Castle just Black. Take what we need. Forester Town. The White I mean. soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, his eye ain't looking too good either. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight. Well, I'd say Just you like guys have cunt. plenty of wine to go around. He has no fucking... Not the drinking kind. Is I'm talking it? about their complaining. Yeah. Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> he's had a run-in with Walter Frey, didn't And he's you? leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. What? Hello. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Oh, you fucker. Really? Nothing? What am I supposed to do? I guess. You deaf. I'm not strong. But we have to show some strength. But we can't um, bring her into danger here. I can't fight. I wonder what's weaker. She's good. Your legs. She's a good fighter. Remember? Or this house. My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hall. <laughs> that scared him? You guys are babies. Go on then, my lord. So, I figure she's just here to die. Yeah. In this story. Just like her twin brother, huh? Mm -hmm. It's madness. You can't starve. I will them. not cuddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick, my boy. Right. Okay. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Oh, he'll remember <laughs> that. Who else does? Oh, indeed. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed You were you there man. to watch it now happen, he's shithead. Now yeah. a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Yes. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took mm. Deepwood Mott. 
How she's hell of a Grayson and Brown Barrow were all slaughtered in the twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. My betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. I'm yeah, gonna need a makeover! Roderick. You better work! Work it, girl! Work it out! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Montage. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good. <laughs> Even after, after. Just be careful not marry to an ugly woman. If Elena does she's come ugly. to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers so. in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Wait, to starve who out? What's going on? Um, the people. Our people? Bolton's men? Who are we I talking about? I lost track of the conversation. Me too. I was thinking about Tu Wong Fu. <laughs> I was daydreaming <laughs> about the birdcage. <laughs> <laughs> The White Hills are stationed here, so we're they're wondering if we should starve them out. What like were the other options? Like just not give them food because the bread has worms in it and stuff, so they might just leave because they're hungry. Starve them out, then. Let them go, hungry. Try. No, fuck yes, that. Man. We need wine. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. What are those all about? Welcome back, my lord. Why is it's the good to be back? That? He, he does everything. He's to my needs, though. He's our slave. <gasps> no. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. She's got an epic sad face. Yeah, dude. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. You better work! Thank you. Work <laughs> Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Strength of mind. All right. Take a break now. We'll be back after this with more Game of Thrones.